numbers and verify anything until I look at them. Okay. So that's the only problem I have. Other than that, I have no problems. Sure. You see, I can't verify if I have looked at the numbers. That's what they're asking me here. Well, we don't really have to even turn that in now. Okay. This is basically, if I don't get our money, we're going to be broke. I understand that. I understand and, uh, um, there's some other state reports I can't do because they're suspended, so I can't get our end of the month stuff to do these reports that I have in next week until they end of the month. It's like this is something mm -hmm. that we've never had to do before, and I, mm -hmm. I don't understand why. That's why I'd be afraid to send it right now without looking at something. Because sure. I'm saying, yes, it's accurate, and I haven't ever looked at it. Yeah, but see, usually we never have to send the courthouse or audit in each year, and I've never been required to do that. <coughs> and that's when I faxed that back to her saying, you know, we need an extension because they're not done. Then she sit, sent it back and said, no audit required. No. Uh, yes, you understand my point of that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just, you would think that they would just, because you all have an individual audit. Your office, do you or do you not? Uh, uh, yeah, they can't get audited by the state and also by, by our, yeah. our auditors. But the state audit, why, why wouldn't that just be sufficient for them? Well, they just want the audit from the courthouse. Okay. But the they don't anymore. It, see, it was a mix up. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> so I don't, I mean, I, let's see, if you looked at the state audit, would that be sufficient? Well, according to what you, I understand, the state's not requiring it because you uh, are paying out less than five hundred thousand dollars, correct? Is that what I'm reading there? See, the state really doesn't require them to do an audit. We're doing an audit for them, and we don't have a copy of that. And if you read that close, that's what I'm thinking. That that's that we expend federal funds, five hundred thousand dollars worth of federal funds. They're talking about an OMB circular right, right there. Right. The circular yeah, one thirty three. We're not required to have that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, because we haven't expended five hundred thousand dollars worth of federal funds in the fiscal year. I mean, that, that's actually that is separate from the audit itself. That is just a. I mean, I do, but you know, the thing of it is, I've already done that for Health and Human Services. The, the director emails me and, and just basically says, "Did did you spend expend over five? Are you required to file this uh, circular one thirty three or something?" And I said, no, and I just mail back and I signed my name to it that, no, you know, we didn't expend $500,000 worth of federal funds. So is that and then he just marks us off. I mean, I don't know, of course. Is that what Billy, since you checked that, is that what Billy certified is that we did not spend that? Oh, is that what it's saying, basically? Basically, it's just saying we don't have to give the old whatever Here's circular. Here's the line, I mean, the rest of them up there. Yeah, but the, that was what was checked. A-133 single audit report. Yeah. So is he, since, he, since that is checked, is that what he's certifying no, there? No, because I have to send the cover sheet along with it. Because that's what we don't have to required to submit at the HS two copies. But you have to read the other sheet. We expended, actually expended less than 500. And if he wants to maybe go and check, I know it's, when the guy sent me the form letter, the whys were already in there. And then well, these are evidently are something that I fill out. Okay. As, I mean, that you, at one time, what the, these numbers are looking familiar, that they basically come in and ask me what the levy was, what the EAB is, and what, our, what the rate was for general assistance in all county mm -hmm. funds. So this is just for our rate. That's just for unfair, but it's basically, yeah. but they, I, I think it's probably all the same information. Sure. So what do you think, John? Do you think that uh, he, he's, he, you know, has questions about it, we can wait. And okay. Maybe you, he can call Williams, on Williams, the, and Lentz. Sure. And on this side, I said, this is all, when he sent email, that was all March yet. Mm -hmm. But then, when I faxed this back to her, requesting an extension, because Williams and Williams and Williams were done with the audit. Well, no, it's right. using it. <laughs> yeah, whoever. Anyway, they faxed it back to me and said, no, A133 required. 
And so, anyway. No, the A133 is, is something that's different than the, the audit. The A133 is a totally separate report if we right. expend more than 500000 And then she said no audit required mm -hmm. and da da da. A waiver of these other things. That just shows you where they don't so communicate. Whenever you check into it, you know, we can change the no. Right hand or put no. If you want to do that when you sign I'll it. hang on this. I'll take it up and talk to Patrick a little bit about it. And, okay. uh, and then I'll give it back to you. Sure. That okay. sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Thank guys. you, Lori. Yeah. <laughs>